So, I mean, this is um, not a single trial because, you know, the, the question that we wanted to answer um, cannot be answered really by a single trial. Um, even some of the largest ones have not been able to answer this question conclusively. So what BPLTTC is really a collaboration of, you know, most major clinical trials of blood pressure reduction um, that have been released so far. So this, this current cycle that has led to um, this work that is now being presented at the ESC um, is a collaboration of 50 largest randomized clinical trials of blood pressure reduction um, over the past few um, years and if you like the last couple of decades um, and uh, which pulls together information from about 350,000 randomized patients. And that makes it really by far the largest collaboration of its kind and the, the, the largest um, single data set of randomized trials um, that have been ever collected to our knowledge. Essentially what we did, we looked at whether the, the proportional effects of treatment differ um, in people who have got previous cardiovascular disease and people who don't, and at the same time, stratified by having such a large data set we could stratify the group into um, people with different levels of blood pressure before randomization and getting all the way down to less than 120 millimeter mercury systolic so the people were divided into seven categories of blood pressure from 170 to 120 and um, what we found is that actually your, your baseline blood pressure or presence or absence of cardiovascular disease um, did not have any material impact on the proportional risk reductions that uh, were uh, observed across all of those clinical trials. And this has obviously major implications um, for um, uh, patients as well as doctors. And it suggests that we should not be attributing such a great value to the blood pressure itself when deciding whether patients should ben could benefit from antihypertensive treatment. Um, and, um, the, you know, the clear power of this study is by being so large and by having access to individual participant data, uh, we could go to that low, you know, normal level of blood pressure, if you like, and still have thousands of people in those groups to be able to provide um, uh, compelling evidence for the lack of interaction by baseline blood pressure or prior disease status.